Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, gonna show you how to swap faces inside Midjourney, but we're gonna swap a face into an image with multiple faces in it, or multiple people in it. Let me show you what it looks like, and then I'm gonna show you step by step how to do it. Here's the original image, I just downloaded this for free, off of Pexels. It's just a lady looking at the camera and she's got a neutral expression and you can see all of her face so that's why I chose that image. Now here's a second image and this one has clearly four people in the shot. Now I swapped in her face on all of them and you'll see here that you'll see the when I go from one to one so here and I go quickly you'll see that all the images are swapped all four of them and then in the final one here I was like hey I just want to swap out this girl on the bottom right's face and I want all of them to remain the same so watch this click on it first second and third images are the same the fourth one has swapped out now let me show you how to set it up and then I'm going to show you how to do it it should take only a couple minutes all right welcome back so the first step is we have to create our own server on discord on the left side here you'll see this little plus sign click on that and you'll be able to add a server then it asks you to create your own server, click on that, and then it says for me and my family, family, or me and my friends, or for a club or a community. It's for me and all my friends, I don't have any friends, but if I did, eh, whatever. We're gonna call this face swap multi, whatever, something like that so I know what it is. So this is multiple face swapping, click on create. When I do that, you'll see up here at the top right, I've got my own server. Beautiful, let's keep rolling. On the left side, you're somewhere over here, you're gonna see the sailboat, and that is the mid-journey. You wanna click on the mid-journey bot there, or the mid-journey server, left click on that, and it'll load up all of this stuff here. Don't worry about any of that stuff, go to the right side, and you're gonna see mid-journey bot. Left click on that, click right here on top of the bot, and then it says add to server. Go ahead and click on add to server, and then it's gonna ask you what server you want to add it to. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to whatever the one I just made was called, Face Swap Multi. Click on Continue. I'm gonna go ahead and authorize it to do all those things. Why not? I trust it. And then I'm gonna hopefully pass the captcha. I think I'm human. Oh man, which one has a crab? I've never had crabs before. Uh, okay, anyway, uh, yeah, too much info. I'm gonna click on Verify, Human, okay, authorized. Good stuff, let's go back to that server and let's see where we're at. Okay, so we're in face swap multi, mid journey bot has been added. Now we need to add in the next bot, which is the insight face swap. This is the one that makes it all possible. So I'm gonna get the link, I'm gonna paste it in, I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, welcome back. So I just went and grabbed the link, here it is. You just have to click on this link. I am going to put a link to this in the description below so you can just copy and paste it and you don't have to go digging around for it. So. Here we go, I'm going to left click on it, and watch this, it says an external application insight face. Just go ahead and click on continue, but before you do that, of course you have to pick, pick the server. So we're gonna do what we did in the last one, face swap multi, hit continue, hit authorize, and hit I am human. Okay, I'm human, let's go, no crabs? All right, I don't have crabs, beauty. Okay, so now at the top right here, if we click in the face swap multi, we've got the insight face bot, and we've got the mid journey bot. Now I need to show you how to create IDs and then swap them in. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag and drop in the image that we want to use for this. This is not a required step, but I wanna show you what we're working with so you can see the difference. So I'm just gonna go to my desktop here. I'm in my finder and I'm just gonna drag and drop in this image of Karen. She is, I made a video about her earlier. She's got an AI virtual chat girlfriend or something like that. So this is the image that we're going to be using. Now we're gonna go ahead and create an ID for Karen. Yes, she wants to speak to your manager. Let's create that ID. To get this going, forward slash save ID. This is a new command that's been enabled by using Insight Face Swap. When you do that, hit enter, you get two options. You can drag and drop or click uh, to drag and drop a image on top of that, and then you can also give it a name. So I'm gonna go back into my Finder, or if you're on a PC, your Windows Explorer, and I'm gonna drag that image right here. So that is the image, and then I'm just gonna call this Karen, C-A-R-Y-N, and then I'm going to hit enter. When I do that, Notice that the cap, the C was capitalized, so it, it, it is case sensitive. Just keep that in mind. So here it is, it says ID name Karen created. Now let's get to swapping. All right, everybody, welcome back. So now it's swapping season. 
So in the last one, we forward slash save ID and we create an ID named Karen. Now we're gonna go forward slash swap ID. But before I do that, I'm gonna click on my finder and I'm gonna drag and drop the image in so I can show you what it looks like again before I start hitting buttons and swapping out faces. So here's the original image. So here we go. And it's got these four people, all different images. Even the bottom left here has a different angle to his face, all attractive, etc. Now let's go ahead and swap in an ID. All you gotta do is go forward slash swap ID. This is another new function or new feature that's uh, specific to insight face swap. Hit enter. When you do that, it's going to ask you to drag an image in and it's also gonna ask you for an ID name. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go to my finder and I'm gonna use that same image so I can show you the difference here. So I'm gonna drag and drop it there. And then under ID name, we're gonna use the ID that we just created called Karen, C-A-R-Y-N. When I hit enter, it's going to swap out, but it's going to swap out all four faces. Now, in some cases, that's probably something you might want if you're doing, for example, an art piece and you want ha you know, you know, wanna show everybody looks the same or something, there you go. This is one way to do it. But I'm now gonna show you, well, let's look at it first. Here's the original shot. And now let's look at the revise. You'll see that her face has changed, his face has changed a lot, his face changed a whole lot, and her face changed too. So, okay, quite a bit there, but let's work with the bottom right one. So, again, for some cases, you want to switch out all the faces, but now I'm going to show you how to use, use it so that you only swap out one face. Excellent. So just make sure that you've saved both of these images and you can just right click on the image, save image as. Now I'm going to go to my finder and you'll see here that I have one.jpg and then I've got new one.jpg, which is the one with all of the faces and the new swapped faces on it. So now I'm going to go to my browser. In this case, I'm going to go to Google Chrome and I'm going to go to a website called Photopea or Photopea. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. What you need to do now is you need to go to your finder or your explorer and grab the first image. So in this case, it's called one.jpg. I'm just gonna drag it and drop it right on top here. I didn't log into anything. It, it uh, supports itself through ads. And there we go, that's our first step. The second step is you wanna grab the new image that we just made. And that one, in this case, it's called new one.jpg. I'm just gonna drag and drop it and drop it right on top of it. Now, obviously it's not the same size. So for, for just for speed sakes, I'm just gonna go ahead and increase the size. Um, if you were to do this uh, slowly, you may want to decrease the size of the bottom image, but I'm just going to do this quickly to show you the technique. Uh, so if now we look at it, we've got our background image and we've got our regular image. So here's the new image. And then if I click this on and off, you'll see here that the faces are changing. So what we want to do now is we want to basically keep one of these faces or whatever number of faces you want and then get rid of the other. So it's very easy to do. The first step is you want to hold down the Alt key on a PC, Option key on a Mac. Very important. Alt key or Option key. And then click right here on this little mask. Now add raster mask. When you do that, you'll see it created a black mask. That's very, very specific. You can do the same thing inside Photoshop, the exact same steps. I'm using Photopea because it's a free tool and not everybody has a copy or a recent copy of Photoshop. Okay, so with that step, now all you got to do is go to the left side here and you're going to see a few tools. The one we want is this brush tool right here. You can just press B or you can just click on it. And now let's just go ahead and change the size of the brush. So up here at the top left, you'll see here this little thing here. It says brush size. I'm going to go ahead and increase it to a thousand because I just want to do this quickly. I don't want to spend too much time, you know, showing you the brushing techniques. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start painting on or over the faces. So again, you'll see here that the color is selected to white, which we want. The mask is black. And all you got to do is this. Watch this. Look at that. I have changed her face. Let's change this guy's face. That's it. And again, this is a free tool and this is the technique. Whoa, Nelly. So there you go, guys. That's all it takes. Uh, thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up.